Good morning and welcome to the Millennium Airport Hotel Dubai. My name is Simon Moore, I'm the General Manager of the hotel and I'd like to uh, thank everyone for attending today's event which marks the launch of the Millennium Hotels and Resorts Middle East and Africa Tumu Intern Internship Development Program which is to promote and grow UAE national talent in the booming hospitality sector. This, pro this uh, morning's program will last about 45 minutes and will be uh, ending with a question and answer session. So you'll have plenty of opportunities at the end to uh, ask any questions you might have. We've got a number of speakers that we uh, lined up for you. Um, and after the question and answer session, we will be having lunch in the uh, room next door. Um, but now I would just like to invite Mr. Ali Hamaid Lakrain Al Zawi, President of Millennium Hotels and Resorts Middle East and Africa, to the stage for him to share with you his passion for this program and for the hospitality industry. So, Mr. Ali, I can ask you to come to the stage. Thank you very much. Salam Ali. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much, uh, first of all, uh, for attending this meeting today and sharing with us uh, this initiative uh, of Millennium Hotels and Resort to launch uh, the Tomoe program. Uh, Tomoe, as you probably, most of you know, means ambition in, uh, in Arabic. Uh, today's uh, hospitality industry, especially in uh, Dubai, is a core industry and participates quite uh, heavily in the GDP of Dubai and uh, the overall GDP of uh, the United Arab Emirates. Uh, I believe uh, today maybe the DTCM will correct me, but we have over 700 hotels in Dubai today, which makes this city one of the largest uh, cities that uh, contains such number of uh, number of rooms here. Uh, I think with the growth of the UAE population, with the growth of the uh, UAE graduates, and the growth of the industry overall, it is uh, quite. Uh, Clear that the industry needs the local talents, the local people to start driving this industry. Uh, like any other uh, nation or country around us, uh, if you look at uh, countries like Oman or Saudi, another destination where there has been some uh, government initiative where they uh, for certain uh, national uh, uh, ratios in each and every hotel. Well, uh, because we are an open country and because we are a free uh, trade country, we uh, did not do that. But I think it is time for the uh, private businesses and the private hotels uh, businesses to start realizing the importance of the locals and the nationals in driving such businesses. I think the, the local community and the nationals can participate much more than the foreign uh, professionals because of their know-how to the country, to the culture, and uh, the easement of uh, approaching things in a, in a more local uh, way of getting business done. Uh, from, from this background, I think today's uh, Millennium Capital uh, effort to uh, work with the, the local authorities and the different uh, recruitment authorities is I think it is a must on Millennium Capital and to give back to this country what it has given us 
over the past years uh, since we entered into the UAE and the region. Uh, we have, I think, uh, maybe 120,000 keys now uh, uh, in Dubai, and the number is growing. Uh, we should be, inshallah, reaching uh, the 20 million uh, visitors uh, uh, soon by the year 20 or 21, inshallah, uh, which, uh, which makes Dubai one of the most visited cities, one of the top five most visited cities globally. So with all of this, I think the current uh, ratios, if you go into most of our hotels, whether it's Millennium and Capital Hotels or other uh, branded hotels, the ratios of UAE nationals or locals is very much limited. And with this initiative, we want to invite uh, people and our uh, colleagues and our fellow UAE citizens to take advantage of this initiative and start getting into the hospitality industry where they can be groomed, trained and uh, reach to uh, different uh, positions in the hospitality industry. Uh, it doesn't have to be limited to certain middle uh, positions or uh, lower positions in the hotels. So this is the initiative that we're trying to build. I think uh, the Millennium and Capstone corporate office is very much committed to this vision. Uh, me personally being a local Emirati, I would like to see this as something will see the light and will uh, will see a benefits to a lot of my local uh, colleagues and nationals to participate with us in this growth. Uh, today, uh, probably the company is one of the fastest growing companies in the UAE and Dubai. We anticipate to have. Uh, above, uh, I think, uh, 20 hotels for the Millennium and Capitone uh, only in the city or the Emirate of Dubai in the next three to five years uh, uh, from today. That, that will, I think, give us around 10,000 to 12,000 keys in the city of Dubai which probably makes us one of the top five uh, hotel companies that from number of keys and number of locations in Dubai, which is a massive growth for any company over a period of less than 15 years since we started uh, in Dubai. So I would like you and encourage you to please uh, help us in making this happen whether it's uh, my colleagues from the corporate office or the local authorities or the uh, industry colleagues, we would like to see how we can work together in uh, helping our uh, local nationals to see uh, them in the, in the industry that we are in. And I uh, thank you for attending today's uh, uh, meeting and initiatives that we are bringing to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, shukran, Mr. Uh, Ali, for the uh, Thank you very much for this uh, wonderful speech. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, Mr. Ali, Mr. Kebor, and uh, Mr. Nemo and Mr. Simon for sure our Tomoh uh, Bar President Ms. Aisha for the cake garden and uh, integrating Tomoh uh, Burka.
Thank you, Mohammed, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Tumu presentation launch. We are taking this opportunity to present our new initiative to you, and this will help us, in fact, to promote this program to our local nationals here. And in fact, uh, if you look at this, 2019, we are focusing a lot on hiring most of the local nationals here, so this will help us to, you know, to pass the message to them. In eight to 10 minutes, I'll be taking you through the agenda of, of today's presentation, which is, We'll share the TUMU program overview. I will be sharing program tiers, which will show how detailed the program is and how we will cover the development of all the different levels of learning needs. Plus, you'll be having a quick introduction with Ms. Aisha Abbas, who is our TUMU Executive Development Program participant, who will be sharing us her experience, how the program is for her. And we will leave the questions till the end, and then we'll be with the team answering it together. So let me present a uh, program overview to you. As we know, goals are like dream, but with ambition. Yes, that's exactly our program is all about. Tumu means ambition in Arabic. From this program, we will attract and develop talented, passionate, and motivated UAE nationals into future positions of millennium hotels and resorts. Program also aims to contribute to the community in which we operate and also develop the talent of millennium hotels and resorts to lead rapidly expanding brands. As we know, we are expecting a growth. Of course, we need a lot of homegrown managers coming up through this program. Therefore, you will see there are different levels and tiers available for their development. First, we are introducing internship development program in this previous <coughs> forum today, and also the executive development program, which is already launched in the month of September. This is purely for our national colleagues who already are in-house with us. Then, colleague development program, which is all in-house colleagues again, which is for level one to nine, which I'll be giving you a quick overview of it. And then leadership development, leadership development program. Now, with this infrastructure, you can see Millennium Hotels and Resorts are ready to welcome. And you know, not even uh, just to hire them, they are ready to retain them, develop them, and motivate them. So these are the three month program which we have launched, and I'll give you the quick brief on it. First, let me introduce you to the internship development program. We call it internship and management training development which is our TIDE. The aim of this program is to attract and develop fresh graduates, which is our UAE nationals, and set them for the career in hospitality with Millennium Hotels there. Our TIDE offers our training at Below, which is our internship, which is about three to six months, management trainees, which is 12 months, and school trainees. So let me take you through a quick brief on internship development program. As I said, it's for three to six months or even less because the need at the moment is someone to come only for one and a half months. So it's being targeted through this particular program. And it's designed for undergraduates who are currently studying and they need a work exposure. Program has got strong five components which make our program very robust, which is onboarding. When they come in, they are officially given a proper onboarding the way our colleagues get it. They attend Welcome to our World, which is our orientation program, then they attend departmental orientation, and this is done by all by the certified trainers. They have got their own on-job training program, which is customized by the hotel for them. And those training programs are in two quarters, basically. So if you have six months, you have two quarters down there. Each quarter will have at least one or two off-job trainings, which is based on the individuals down there. And then those quarterly reports are monitored by us at the corporate office. This shows whether they are actually enjoying the program or not. It's not about enrolling them, understand. The thing we enjoy doing it, we actually make the most out of it. And we are even selling the industry to them in terms of it, so they can see themselves coming up in the future like that. So if you look at this, quarterly reports are one of our strongest tools which makes corporate office involved in this process. And then at the same time track what exactly how our interns are feeling. At the last, they are given a performance check, means they are being tested. So when they are tested, based on the outcome, they are also certified on their only programs there. 
So that's a quick brief on internship. We have management training program. Now that goes a little more expanded. Their onboarding is purely like our colleagues here. Now they go for three months onboarding. And it is designed for graduates who have attended internships. Now they are looking for a work exposure. And uh, based on it, their training plans are prepared. The uniqueness about the training plan is our, our corporate directors of those particular departments have chosen those topics to prepare the training plan. So it's a standardized training plan for any two participant who's joining this program. Means we are comparing apple to apple down there. So once somebody passes the program, we know exactly what they are being trained, what they are being tested. Uh, they go for off job training programs again, which is close to like six to six to seven off job program, which is from Millennium Library. They attend that, and then they do quarterly projects. These quarterly projects are purely based on what have they been trained on. So they are taken from no to new information, which is. They start with the very basics, but they go higher level. Means they even act as a manager down there for that particular uh, in the last week of their programs like that. And then they attend quarterly cross exposures. Once they finish the program, they can be promoted to the entry level managerial positions. And the best part about this program is, if they have talent, if they have spark, if they have a genuine ambition, when you're talking about, they can be promoted into an executive development program, which is actually a fast track development program and even to a colleague development program. So these are the nine uh, programs which we already opened now, which is all about front office, food and beverage, housekeeping, HR, training and development, IT, and the rest of that is available. Most of the details are present with us, and I can be sharing with you individually after the program if you want to. The last level of an internship program is our school trainees. And school trainees normally come to have a feel of the industry, how the industry feels, what they see themselves are in, let's like say, in the next five years, joining this industry or not there. So just to give them a feel of hospitality, we have this program. Also, through this uh, program, we do communicate that, yes, that were, uh, how the industry functions, we give them a brief about it, and we even want to change their future path based on it. We had a very, uh, recently we had a small success here. Uh, we hosted the students from Dubai College of Tourism, and uh, our enthusiasm from our trainers, our passion from our trainers actually made them think twice to look out this path. So they are really looking forward to join hospitality in the future. Then. They, were, they, they were trained in this hotel and at Millennium Plaza. Now, and we are actually looking for more to join us in, the, in, in this next year. Then. Building further, the next level is our executive development program. Now this is a fast track development program where a management trainee who is quite talented and passionate can, can be a part of this. This is for our internal colleagues who have been part of our, of our, of our system there. It's an 18 months development program for line managers and we take them to a, de a development head level. It means it's a steep development which they're going through. It's a 13 months program which is split in four quarters. And the last quarter of it, then the last month, the same participant goes and travels to another Millennium Hotels, can be out, uh, in, uh, in, outside the Indomina region for one month cross exposure. And uh, once you finish 13 months, you work on the earmarked position. So once they join the program, we already spot their positions on which position we are focusing them to be developed. Remember, it's a fast track, means we're expecting a lot from them. And generally, people who have talent, who have that spark, who have that ambition, are the ones who quickly qualify for this. So let me take you to the component of this program. Uh, there's a path to success, means which tells them what are the things they need to cover in each milestone. It's very well scripted, very, very clearly written there with the deadline. Then each milestone has got key job responsibilities, which is taken from the department head's job description. We are developing them as a department head, means they have it in them in this. So they are coached, they are not trained. They are given tasks on, on which each of their coaches give them. And then they are supported by the mentors. Their general managers are their mentors, which shows them the big picture. It shows them how they face those situations down there and they are ready to meet those challenges down there. Furthermore, their off-job trainings are supported, their cross-trainings are done. And of course, once you're reaching to the top, topmost level, you're, you're ready to report to general manager, I'm sure there are development areas there. So those development areas are just not stopped there. There's, there's a personal development plan available for each of them, 
which is which continues even after the program is you know for you up to 30 months or over you. So it can be another five months or six months but you keep developing the person down that through a CPDT process. Picturize anybody passing management training program. 12 months past that, we saw the spark, the person qualifies for the ETDB. You can see in the next 18 months, a young graduate standing as a department head reporting to a general manager. We have the capability, we have the capacity, only thing is just that we need more people down there to take it over there. Yeah. So the, we have the infrastructure also to welcome in this, in, in this direction. The last threads of a program is a colleague development. Not everybody qualifies for executive, I understand, because it's a fast track again, which just means you need a lot of in you in terms of reaching there. You need to be a real domain specialist in what you do. So some of you will have development areas there. In that case, you qualify for colleague development program. This is for all national colleagues from level one to nine, which is for any of them who have any development needs to make them reach that particular level. Program is based on their individual learning needs and focusing on the following, which is the career aspirations, which they want to be, and those areas of strength or development in delivering their job duties or competencies. Therefore, program has certain uh, process through. So you will go through, you might have a need for cross exposures. Those cross exposures can be, you know, in, 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 in your region, it can be outside the, uh, in the MENA region, or it can even be outside the MENA region. You have cross training needs. Why? Because you want to have a, you have a better career aspiration. I, I'm a director of HR, I want to be a GM. Yes, you need to be specializing in certain competencies down there. Through this program, we will help them to achieve that. So they can go for a cross-training in the same hotel, they can go through a cross-training in the MENA region. Based on it, so even if you are not joining us in an internship development program, if you're joining us as a, as a normal colleague, as a, a UAE national, you qualify for these programs. Cross-exposure in the same hotel region, you can do it within six months of joining. If you're across six months and more, you can even qualify to go in the MENA region in every our properties are for cross exposure or cross trainings. If you cross more than 12 months, you, you, know, you have performed, GMs have seen your performance, they see the areas in you, you can even qualify for the outside MENA region also to go there. Plus, we even look at now some of the executive development program or internship development program, the management training especially, they will have development needs like English, like computer classes. Yeah. So this program through this, they will be qualified to, uh, to enter to that level there. Furthermore, it also opens the door for advanced studies and for and the external development program. So if you look at C uh, the colleague development covers all your entire needs, which is, you know, I'll help you to, you know, to take your role even more better and do your job even more in the more details down there. Therefore, we say, the more program is your passport for the future and we're looking forward for more numbers in 2019. Before I end my presentation, I would like to call Ms. Aisha Abbas, who is our Tumu Executive Development Program. She joined the first batch of Tumu, and she will be giving us a quick brief about her experience with being a participant of this program. Aisha? plus Dubai College of Tourism for continuous for their continuous support. And uh, and we look forward from your side to promote this program. So in 2019 we are looking forward to have plenty of UAE nationals working with us there. Great. Thank you. Our uh, forum is open for the questions now. Thank you very much.
I would like to invite Ms. Tina Lobo, our Director of Human Resources, Mr. Karim Hurd, who is our uh, the Regional Director of Operations. Karim will be assisting us in all the analytic questions there. Tina will be taking us through any of the HR-related questions, and I will be assisting you on any technicalities of the program. شو بنشوف 
ناقصه او ناقصه اكيد او متدرج لحتى يوصل عندك من 3 اشهر ل 6 اشهر هو الانترنشيب ديفلوبمنت بروجرام بعدين عندك 12 شهر اللي هو الاكزكتيف ديفلوبمنت بروجرام يعني سنه كامله وسنه ونص بيكون السي دي بي او البروجرام بتاع الرابع اللي هو الاي تي بي سو من 3 اشهر ل سنه ونص اوكي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته، ليلى رحال. مبادرة جدا رائعة وأعتقد أنها جسر إلى 2020 إكسبو 2020 مثل ما شفنا أنه في مجال تطور ولكن هنا هاي المبادرة لسقل مهارات السياحة. بس في شوية نقطة محددة هل لما اطلقتم برنامج طموح فقط هو مختص لمجموعه الميلينيوم ام بعض الفنادق الثانيه لكي تعمل فائده؟ او وكذلك هل هو مختص بالمواطنين فقط وليس الوافدين؟ علما ان بعض العوائل الاماراتيه ترفض ان اولادها يشتغلوا في مجال السياحه. وهي الخدمه المجتمعيه السياحيه اللي انتم اطلقتموها على اسس انه تريننج بيبل فور ذا فيوتشر مختصه في نظم كل كل المجالات او مجالات محدده، لانه بعض الاماراتيين مثلا واحنا نعرف انه ما حتقبل انها تكون في اماراتيه تشتغل في استقبال الضيوف وجي، لهم برستيج معين وعوائلهم تمنعهم على هذا الشيء وشكرا وسمحوا. سألت ثلاث أسئلة، بلش بأول سؤال يس هو أكيد وبكل فخر هو لشركة ميلينيوم برنامج طموح بس أكيد وير إكسبكتينج شركة ثانية نطلع عليه وتشوفه وتصير تجرب تعمل شيء قريب منه. سألنا قبل سؤال شو ال شو البروجرام اللي أنت عم تقدموه اللي هو طموح وشركة ثانية لأنه كمان عندهم إنترنشيب بروجرامز وعندهم مانجمنت تريننج بروجرام يعني هذا الإنسان متداول بكل الشركات. سو so, هيدا عم بسال عم بقول لك هالشيء رح تجاوبك على ثاني سؤال عندك اللي هو يس اتس اونلي فور يو اي نمبرز يعني بدخلوا مثل الامارات السعوديه للبلد اللي نحن فيه هون اللي هو الامارات العربيه المتحده صدقيني ما في احلى من اماراتي يجي يحكيك عن عن سوق السبايس عن سبايس ماركت او عن دبي ميوزيوم او عن الديزرت سفاري اكسبيرينس سو بدنا نشجع كل اللوكال تالنتس اللي هن من الامارات العربيه المتحده لحتى يعرف بالمناصب لانه مثل ما بلش في بارت البرزنتيشن مستر علي بالسبيتش تبع حضرته في عندنا النمبر اوف رومز اللي جاي لهالبلد كثير كبير سو اكيد بدنا هالنمبر يمشي او هالرقم يمشي مع اللوكال اللوكال اماراتيز اللي يكونوا بهالمناصب بقطاع السياحه أتكلم باسم الإماراتيين ولكن المقبول الخاص قبل ماي إكس باك راوند كان هوتيل بزنس تريني في برج العرب من حوالي ست سبع سنين حاولوا يحطوا مدن على العلاقات العامة واستقبال الضيوف ولكن لم تنجح الخطة مش مش لأنهم ليسوا ضد لهذا لأنه أكبر من أنه أنا أشوف واحد ماستر يجي يستقبل الناس فسوري يعني فلو انتم حتحطوا بوزيشنز معينه اعتقد يس. اما انه بس للاماراتيين عشان يشتغلوا في الهوتيل بزنس في اول ديبارتمنت ات كانت بي. طباخه ممكن يعني شوف لانه ماسترز في الطبخ في الاعلام في بس انا سموح طموح رائع اكثر من رائع ولكن هناك بعض الاماكن اللي تحتم انه لن يقبل بها اي لوكل او عوائل اللي تحكمهم اعراف وتقاليد ونظم ما حيقبل ابنه مثلا يكون علاقات عامه الا لو حتعطيه بي اي بي او ناس هاي برستيج سوري يعني وشكرا وجهه نظر لا لا اكيد بالعكس لا بالعكس بتشكر الان تي وذاتس واي نحن اذا شفت البرنامج هو مقسم لاربع برامج صغيره بيعرفوا يعني مثل ما بلشت انا كمان بنبلش من المدارس لا 
تحت هيك فكره سو كل البروجرام هو ما عنده هدف واحد معين الهدف تبع البروجرام كله انه نوصل نوفيز لمراكز يس بدنا نشوف مدراء عاملين من من الامارات بدنا نشوف مدراء بهود الديبارتمنتس اللي شايفين قدامك من الامارات العربيه المتحده سو يمكن انت انت عن سبيسيفيك ديبارتمنتس بس صدقيني يعني بفكر ذا بيست اكزامبل كان الست عايشه بلشت من السكيورتي وعندها طموح لحتى يصير لقدام سو عن جد يعني ذيس از سمثينغ ذات يو براد اوف ولحن سبوت كثير من مثل امثال الست عايشه و
uh, within UA Nationals, but there have been a lot of programs recently uh, from you know the Dubai uh, College of Tourism, from the Ministry of Human Resources and Emeritization, and we're seeing a, a quite an increase uh, in that interest. Uh, students walking in, uh, there will be programs that will spread awareness even further. Uh, so, for example, inviting parents along with students to our uh, different properties, walking them through. So, we've definitely seen an increase, and, and hospitality is becoming a, a sector where UA nationals would be looking to deliver. Sure, yeah. In past, there would have been a minority in of the, you know, in any public sector. If you look at that, but yeah, personally, we have seen also things are changing. You know, we are seeing a lot of people being showing interest now. And let's not go in that detail because you see, if you ask any millennial today, they will say, listen, I won't have a white collar job. You know, so things for them also is changing. As I said, we are a hospitality 24 hour operation. Friday, Saturday is always working, and so those are the issues. But people are overcoming that. And you see, people are moving in that direction. Uh, I think um, about my perspective as a UAE national, um, I can see now that not a UAE national are looking into the tourism industry as they can see that there is a high growth within this industry and lots of opportunity are given from different uh, brands and different companies. Um, so on the last program, we hired more than 200 people within the tourism industry, within the hotel industry. So there are lots of UAE nationals who are really interested to be part of this Thank you. Thank you. We'll have two more questions. Yeah. Hello, hi. Jamil from Gulf Korea. The graduates from Amur Forum are going to be recognized from any local university or? No, at this stage, obviously, this is not what we have in our, in our, in our process. But few of the programs which we will write will have some legacy to it. it. That's it. Not, not the full programs in the past. I think the question was about graduates from universities. No. Have I asked you this one? Graduates from Amur Forum. Graduates from Amur Forum. Yeah. 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 Are they going to be recognized by university degrees as well? Uh, TUMO is an internal program, so it's, it's a way to develop our colleagues and our workforce uh, basically over Hi, um, yeah, my question is, uh, just why does uh, um, the hospitality industry traditionally have such a low uh, percentage of Emirati staff, and what have been the challenges to make it appealing to Emiratis? Uh, I think I just answered a brief of that. It's historically, it, these were the areas where you know the long working hours, Fridays, Saturdays, were the key areas for them to look at. And obviously, and even the service sector itself is not there. But it's historically, and this was the main reason. But now, if you look at that, the trends are changing on this path. There. We see people getting involved into it. We have Aisha there, we know, you know, takes equal amount of steps that any other colleague does it. And to address this uh, issue, the second part you're asking, that's why the program has been designed like this, that you go from you know, what you know exactly, which is the basic, then you go to the new part, where you start start leading, because they all need a white collar job, so that's it. Nobody wants to have a blue or pink, pink collar job at the stage. So we're covering both the concepts in the plan. That's where we are trying to address the issues of, you know, not alone, okay, fine, you cannot work at a small level, but we are giving you options if you have Talented young you can you can be a part of this. Sure. And can I also ask, um, how many Emiratis does Millennium employ all together? Um, numbers wise? Currently a handful, uh, but obviously that's the, uh, the reason for a program like this to build the infrastructure to make sure that number is a lot higher. So we have a few UA national colleagues uh, working with us right now, but we'd like to see in 2019 a focus uh, to gradually increase those numbers. And, and Yes, please. Okay. Uh, my name is Masha from Travel Trends. I have a couple of questions to ask for. Uh, my first question is that uh, in terms of the interest in the industry, uh, what are the in hospitality 
industry, what are the departments or sectors where Emiratis have more interest or keen to join in? And another question is uh, like uh, the, uh, any person who goes through this program, any of the three, uh, is they, uh, uh, they are required for a certain period of time to work with Millennium uh, hotels after finishing that because you will be uh, spending a lot of time and money on them. Thank you. Uh, you asked two questions, let me answer the first one. Um, if you look at generalization, if I say, no, I think all the departments, they're quite interested. And I even looked at people who are quite interested in the kitchen to join us. And I even met some of the Emiratis who were looking forward to the Kitchen is in these days. Yeah. Kitchen is in. Exactly. A lot of TV exposure, so other than that. Housekeeping is another one which we have heard recently, obviously. We have, we have, that's why we have to ask that. Keeping in mind the trends, those nine departments we have focused on. And yet they are, people are very open to. Now your second question was, uh, if you, yeah, just read. It's yeah. like, do you have to, the person finishing the program has a certain period of time to spend with the organization? It's a mandatory or they are free to learn and move on? See, when, wherever there is investment involved, they will be. For example, when you join a colleague development program, if you join a cross exposure to the, within the region, that's no expense at all. We just, we have trainers ready to take it through. But when you start traveling, you know, we go outside in the MENA region, outside MENA region, you, you, got, you qualify for, let's say, your advanced study, so things like that. Then there's a minimum commitment which is present out there. Can you add one more question? Please. I am, uh, just want to know that how would you try to attain the uh, Emiratis for the program? Like how you grab the attention of the people for this program? Uh, whatever reason you say the limited number of people is uh, in the industry, the conditions remain the same. Long hours, hotel industry is our top business, especially if you are in a front office, FMB or something like that. So how you will approach them other than the tourism uh, college because of course when they go to tourism college they are interested in the business other than that. Uh, so Dubai College of Tourism or uh, DTCM itself, Ministry of Human Resources and Amortization, um, they have programs, they have media, they have amortization accelerators from the government that they work in, they, uh, they organize open days uh, for the hospitality sector. There have been quite a few in the last few months and we will be attending a few more. Uh, there are university trips, so we will actively, in partnership with them and on our own, uh, visit universities, make, pre make our presentation uh, as to why we think Millennium is to be an employer of choice and they should get a career with us. Obviously, in other ways as well, the way our uh, positions are profiled on Millennium's career website, uh, etc. We would use all of these forums um, as a whole uh, just to reach out, to, to spread the word out as much as possible. And obviously today, um, this, this launch is, is one of the ways where we're trying to say, are you interested in the hospitality industry or do you want to at least explore a career here? We are here, we have programs and you know we'd like for you to approach us for it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, are there questions? Please ask as you find the training will be available. Thank you. thank you everyone for coming. Thank you, thank you very much uh, to Tina, Terry, and Tripat. And thank you all very much for attending today's uh, session. And I would now like to invite you all to join us for lunch, which is being served in the foyer and the adjoining room. So have a good lunch and, uh, and a good afternoon. Thank you very much for all attending.